Let's create Kandinsky concentric circles. Concentric means shapes that share the same center and follow other shapes. So we can see small circles in the middle here and larger circles as it gets further out to the edge of the paper. So who is Kandinsky? Vasily Kandinsky was a famous abstract artist from Russia who lived from 1866 to 1944. Kandinsky felt that he could express his feelings and the sounds of music through colors, shapes, and lines in his paintings. Here are two examples of our concentric circle painting project today. You can use any colors that you like, but notice how the color takes up the entire paper. Let's go ahead and see how I made my concentric circle painting. Before you paint, make sure you write your name on the back of your paper with a pencil. Underneath our painting is our good friend, Messy Mat. Our Messy Mat helps us keep our table clean and gives us a place to create on. You can also use it to wipe your brush on and test colors. Also, before you paint, you need to wake up your paints with water. Dip your brush in your water cup and swirl your wet brush on the paints. This will wake up your paints and turn them into a watercolor. When you switch colors, make sure you dip your brush back into your water cup and clean off the other color. That way our paints stay nice and clean so we can create beautiful paintings with them. To start your painting, paint a small circle in the middle of your paper. You can use any color that you like. After, clean your brush and choose a different color to paint a circle around your first little circle. Remember to clean your brush in your water cup before you paint with a new color. You should paint right next to your last circle so there is no white space showing. You might be able to see how colors blend together. Your circles should wrap all the way around your last circle. That's what makes it concentric because it's going all the way around and following the shape. You can use any pattern of colors that you like. For mine, I chose to do a reverse rainbow. So I started with pink, then purple, blue, green, and I will follow the rest of the rainbow order. When you reach the edges of your paper, we are going to continue painting the corners too. Follow your circle shape and just paint where you have white paper left. We want our entire paper to be filled with color. If you get paint on your messy mat while doing this, that's totally fine. That's what our messy mat is there for. Once you've painted all the way to the corners, you can take your messy mat and your painting to the drying rack so it will dry. Let's go over the directions for that one more time. Start by painting a small circle in the middle. Then follow the shape and paint more circles around it. By doing this, you're creating concentric circles. We're going to try to use brush control today and paint slowly with our paintbrush. And then make sure you fill in all of the space even the corners of your paper. All right, artists, let's go ahead and get started creating. I can't wait to see your concentric circles. Have fun.